Hello, Travis. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Milo, and you're watching Card Talk on Trading Cards. Today we have a very special guest at the end of the episode. It's Sness Drunk. Sness Drunk does YouTube videos about uh, video, uh, Super Nintendo video game reviews. Very popular, very good content. You should definitely check them out. But if you haven't seen him open a pack of cards before and talking about them, that will happen at the end of this episode. We also have this. Take, chalk up another one for the Fonz. It was a little bundle of Happy Days cards for $2 that I bought at a card show. I haven't opened it yet. And then we have so many autographs. Um, we'll just start by showing autographs. So this one I got from Leah Remini. As you... <laughs> nobody gets the reference. I go, oh, it's Leah Remini. And everyone's like, oh, that's stupid. Why'd you get her to sign that one? Well, because she was Zach's love interest. And now he moves on so quickly. Like, look at what Kelly... The discerning look that she's giving this couple. And Leah Remini signed off on Kelly's look. So, that's two. Two, Zach. Come on, watch yourself. Quit the games. We also got an actor from the movie. A classic sports movie. Probably the best sports movie of all time. Slapshot. This is... Jeff Carlson, who played one of the Hanson brothers, and he also signed a mini for me. He also signed the mini. We also have a pitcher whose name was George Medic, and people called him Doc. And somebody asked him, do they call you Doc because your last name is Medic? And he said, no, I am a doctor. He uh, signed three cards for me. He has a bit of a sketchy past, but you could look into that yourself if you'd like. Speaking of people with sketchy pasts, we got another one here. <laughs> we got Tim Allen. We got Tim Allen signed two of two. Now, Tim Allen signs a lot. Uh, he returns a lot of fan mail, but there is some, some questionable uh, returns coming from him. Uh, some people say that his returns are not legit. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what to do with these. But whatever, you know, I'll just pretend like they are legit. I can go to JSA authentication, I guess, and figure it out. But uh, that'll cost money, and these are already paid for. So <laughs> I'll just keep them as is. Let's let's tuck into this right away, huh? Pretty early on. Let's tuck into this. Chalk up another one for the fawns. You better. You better. Get them on that scoreboard. I felt like this one card was probably $2. So I just bought it. And we got these kids are cool, but they can't Charleston. That's true. That is true. They can't Charleston. There's no way. I'll have six burgers and three shakes. Hold the fries. I'm on a diet. He's on a diet. Uh, hold the fries. Six burgers, three shakes. Hold the fries. He's on a diet. Love is a sweet experience, just like ice cream. And this one has some wax damage on it, but I bet I could clean that off. I won't, but I bet I could. A chick is like a phone. Easy to pick up. Okay, Fonz, whatever you say. Easy, girls. One at a time. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, that scene in Superstore with Marcus and... Uh, ben Feldman. He's like, you can live with me. We'll have to tell the ladies, sorry girls, one at a time. Uh, I can't fix your car, guys. You'd be better off with an Edsel. This motor just isn't cool, man. That's true. You could get a motor on a car that just isn't cool, and then what are you going to do, right? You got to get a new car. Gotta get a new car. Richie is like an apple. Rotten to the core. Ooh, Richie. You gotta do more for your public image, buddy. Ice cream at Arnold's is not a hot date. It sounds kind of like a hot date. It's cold one. It's cold one. <laughs> These are the kookiest basketball uniforms. <laughs> All right, well, you ended with a nice one. Ended with a nice one. Obviously, they put the best card on the front, but uh, still some that I'm pretty happy with for two bucks. This was fun. This was a fun little 
little opening here. Fun little crack. We got more autographs. We got more autographs. We got some from Mr. Joe Cotta. I sent him 20 bucks. Canadian. And unlike some people, he accepted Canadian money. 20 bucks for four of these, no problem. That's a great deal. Next autograph is the last of the Bodine family. This is Brett Bodine. We already got the other two. He signed three of these for me. And two more autographs left. Um, this one is interesting. It's hard to see because he signed in ballpoint pen. But it's Anthony Asbury. And he did... He was a puppeteer that worked on Audrey 2. He was dealing with that giant puppet of the plant. And he signed five cards for me. I think he's currently... Uh, he owns a restaurant in New Jersey. So that's where I sent it. And then the final card. It's kind of cool that I was able to get uh, Joe Carter and this guy in the last week. Because growing up in 90s Toronto, like, these were the guys. Wendell Clark and Joe Carter. If you liked hockey, you were into Wendell Clark. And if you liked baseball, Joe Carter was the man. And that was early 90s in Toronto. All right. Well, that's it for me. Here's Nest Drunk opening up a pack of cards. Hope you enjoy. Check them out. His link is in the description below. Bye bye. Hello. Uh, big thanks to Milo for uh, sending me all this great stuff in the mail. Uh, my name is Alex. Some of you may know me as Snest Drunk. So uh, let's open some cards here. Comic Ball 3. It says, featuring Ken Griffey Jr. and Sr. along with Jim Abbott. I don't know why you advertise Jim Abbott of all people. What do they couldn't find Jamie Moyer or Mark Langston to advertise? Uh, and it says on the on the other side there, and the crazy Looney Tunes characters. So let's, uh, I have no idea what these cards are. They're made by Upper Deck, but I don't, I was probably too old for these when they came out, so I'm really not familiar. Is the ASMR of <laughs> some ASMR of opening card packs? <laughs> okay, here we go, and these are all flip flopped. So we've got like what's clearly not an official draw. Like that look just looks not totally like Looney Tunes. Like Bugs just looks off, and he says, "Okay, baby, put that right over the old plate. Come on, shuck that apple over the old sack." Log that. He's doing the little baseball. Uh, chatter thing that catchers used to do back in the day. Uh, there is a trivia question on the back of each of these cards. And the question here, how many times has Ken Griffey Jr. led the Mariners in home runs? Or wait, how many times has he led the Mariners in home runs? Yeah. There's the question, and the answer is one time. 1990, I'm guessing Jay Buhner, Tino Martinez, they, they probably read, led a few times. Here we got this Looney Tunes character uh, representing the Cubs. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Uh, now we have another question. In one of the most outrageous stretches ever practiced at Termite Terrace, the gang reached all the way back to a 1915 DW Gray. This is way too long of a question to read, and it's not that interesting. I, what the hell? I don't know why. I don't know what that was. Next, we got uh, Base in the Hole. And I, again, something about the drawings here just don't look right. They don't look correct, they look off. The trivia question here, what category did Ken Griffey Sr. Are all these questions about Griffey and weird stuff? What category did Ken Griffey Sr. lead the National League in during the 87 season? I am going to give an honest guess and say stolen bases. And the answer is pinch hitting with a 6'11 average. Wow, he, as a pinch hitter in 1987, Ken Griffey Sr. went 11 for 18. That's really good. Yeah, there's a, 
every one of these questions. Ken Griffey Sr. kept his average above 300 for one entire season, finishing with a 306 average in what year? How the hell would I know that? 1983 with the Yankees. And there's the card. How unusual. They're really leaning hard into the Griffey angle. And uh, lots of Looney Tunes. I did not know that Elmer Fudd was an Atlanta Braves fan. Very odd. Uh, I, I guess he's from that area. <laughs> or he's from. I guess he does have a little bit of a North Florida vibe, doesn't he? Uh, and we've got uh, Marvin the Martian with Daffy. How many games has Griffey Jr. played above the Class A level in the minor leagues? I. What kind of question is that? That's not even a fun. Uh oh, all right, let's just skip most of these because I got some cool holograms here, including one of the man himself, Ken Griffey Jr. That's pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. I would have loved this as a kid. Pretty cool. And not only that, we also have another hologram of Griffey. Is that C? Nope, that's Jr. Uh, yeah, my ceiling fan is getting in the shot there. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing on the back of these. It's just for decorative purposes, I guess. But, yeah, I'm just going to skip through most of these. Uh, wait, yep, here's, here's Jim Abbott, and it literally says, Wow, it's Jim Abbott, because Jim Abbott was an unusual case in that his uh, one of his arms didn't grow properly, so he basically played baseball with one arm, but he wasn't really a household name either, so it's kind of an unusual <laughs> thing. Uh, yeah, we got other scenes, we got this, yeah, there's not too much other things interesting. I just find it interesting that, uh, who's Clyde? You know the card referencing a Looney Tunes character named Clyde? Unless he's talking about Clyde T. Dog. But, uh, yeah, that's the basic gist of those cards. So that's it! Those are all the cards that I have. Thanks again to Milo for sending me this stuff, that was fun.